last class we have discussed how it is discovered the pencil lead so one survive see here the pencil lead is comes from the organism pencilium notatum that pencilium notatum means this is the fungal organism okay up to that we discussed so after the discovery of penicillin different kinds of antibiotics are discovered so they are used in the different diseases so these antibiotics they are mainly used the different kinds of uh, antibiotics are discovered as said so these different kinds of antibiotics for different diseases for that used what are they so these antibiotics are used particularly plague plague disease plague disease and also whooping cough generally this whooping cough we call kalikansi what you call it is kalikansi next one more this is diphtheria this is generally we call gal goti and uh, other diseases we call leprosy the means uh, we call generally we call it the pust row so for the different is actually whatever it is the fever everything they are different accidental cases they are first of all they are used to to kill the some of the microbial organisms that means to control the some of the microbial organisms purpose they are used in this antibiotics so these antibiotics always said these antibiotics are that means these are the chemical substances the substances that comes from some of the microbes these substances to kill the or retarded that means to stop the growth of such a microbes so that's why they are these antibiotics are used these are the some of the diseases not only the single antibiotic they are different antibiotics are came from came from the different organisms that is different microbes okay next one more answer in the antibiotic in the industrial products in the industrial microbes in the industrial products the microbes are used to the production of some of the industrial products that are mainly used as a commercial so what kind of industrial products are produced now such as chemicals and enzymes some of the bioactive molecules on second see this point the microbes are used to produce in the some of the commercial and as industrial products such as chemicals and also enzymes some of the bioactive molecules now first of all we are going to discuss chemicals so what are the chemicals are present so these chemicals comes from different organisms that means different microbes okay so first of all this chemicals first of all aspergillus niger this aspergillus niger what is this organism this aspergillus niger is a fungal organism is a fungal organism a fungi this aspergillus niger producing the chemical component 
citric acid. The aspergillus nigra produces in the chemical compound what do you call citric acid. Next, second one. Acetobacter ACT. Acetobacter ACT. This is Acetobacter ACT means so this is the bacterium. The bacterium, this bacterium producing the chemicals such as acetic acid estrobacter acetic bacteria producing the acetic acid third clostridium clostridium butylicum clostridium Butylicum. What is this one? Here, Clostridium butylicum. Here, producing the Clostridium butylicum means this is the bacteria. This bacterium it can produce in the butylic acid. Producing the butylic acid. Next, one more organism. Lactic acid bacteria. Already you know this already here said. This is also bacteria. This lactic acid bacteria with the production of acid is called lactic acid. Lactic acid. Next one more organism. Yeast. Is. This is the fungi or the fungal organism. The scientific name it is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Scientific name you can learn very clearly. So, yeast this is a fungal organism. This is the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Scientific name this yeast is uh, to the production of. The chemicals such as ethanol. What do you call ethanol? These are the main chemicals. Very important. Every organism, the what are the organism, and also this is belongs to the category that is of fungi or bacteria in competitive with us. And then this bacteria, what kind of chemical is produced? Competitively is also very important. And uh, this a video point of view, examination point of view also very important. Next, after that, we are going to discuss enzymes. So, first one, what are the enzymes? Lipases. Lipases. The lipase enzymes. It removing the oil strains. Removing the oil strains. That means uh, this lipase is mainly used in detergent detergent formulation. Mainly used in the detergent formulation. So the lipase are mainly used in the detergent formation and also removing the oil strains from the laundry. Removing the oil strains from the laundry. That's it. For that say, they are using these enzymes. Okay. So lipase is mainly which one person are used? They are mainly it is used for detergent formation. What are the oil or clocks? So detergent formation. These detergents are what you do here when removing the oil strain. What are the blocks of oil strains are present? So these oil strains are there completely remove these enzymes because of the lipase in them are present. Next, the second one.
proteases and uh, pectinases proteases and pectinases these proteases and pectinases used for clamp of juices clamp of juices main it is mainly used for it is a clamp of juices purpose so why we pump actually you can see in a shopping malls and also some of the market shops what are the drinking that means what are the juice bottles are present in the bottle if you see if you see externally the bottle you can see externally so how it is present the juice bottle is if you see external to inner side it's very clear the juice bottle nothing any any particles any other microbes are that means any ants okay any other animal organisms we can't find so already it is a complete it is a processing later so we will send to into the market you can see very clear the juice bottles are the drinking bottles are very clear because of reason here this proteins and fitness and the answer for added in a house made you can see in a house what you are preparing the juices as well thick and slurry like the present so we are not adding anything so that's why the solid when the slurriness it is not comes down and uh, it is a very uh, drink or water like the substances that means effluent like substances it cannot come out that means uh, we have a very clarity the clarity of juices because of reason in protein spectrogenesis but in homemade what you are preparing such as juices there is not clear but because we are not adding anything in adiums are not added so that's why it is a thick and slurry like that present and also here these proteins and pectinases or these clad of juices are present so next we are going to discuss third one streptokinase actually this streptokinase enzyme it can be comes from the bacteria streptococcus streptococcus bacteria actually this streptokinase may be used for clot buster can you use it for clot buster what is meant by here the clot buster okay the streptokinase it is actually this enzyme is comes from the organism it is a streptococcus bacteria streptococcus bacteria this streptokinase enzyme it is mainly used used for what purpose it is a clot buster very very important for one mark we can ask them. most sometimes clot buster so clot buster means if the enzyme is it is applied to any organism maybe maybe human beings okay so what will happen okay it is removing it uh, <coughs> clot buster what is a blast in the blood vessels removing the clots removing the removing the clots in the blood vessels removing the clots in the blood vessel to support the patient myocardial infection that lead to the heart attack that lead to the heart attack once again see this one this streptokinase enzyme so this streptokinase enzyme actually this comes from the bacteria it is a streptococcus bacteria and then this streptokinase used for which purpose it is a class clot buster very very important recognize this word and clot buster means uh, this enzyme it can be removing the clots in the blood vessels a person is suffer the myocardial infection 
a person who has suffered the myocardial infection that leading to the heart attack pus heart attack candidates that's it this is the streptokinase enzyme okay and then here what is this lipases proteases and streptokinase and second series is lipases lipases means what is the which purpose are used it is mainly used for detergent formulation when used for detergent formulation and also may particularly can be removed all stains from the lantern and then this proteins and fertilizers may be used for claret of juices and streptokines already said and once again since some aspergillus niger this aspergillus niger this comes from fungal organism it produces septic acid and estrobacter st it is mainly it is actually it is a bacterium it can be produced in the estic acid and the last to be vitrile can be bacterium can be production of it is a butyric acid and then lactic acid bacterium can production of it is lactic acid and uh, yeast so the second one is the cervix case it is a it is a fungal organism it is a production of it is ethanol okay next chemicals enzymes next one more In the industrial products in the industrial products another product such as bio active molecule this by atom molecules so now first of all we are going to discuss cyclosporin a cyclosporin a this cyclosporin a it is comes from the organism trichoderma trichoderma polysporum trichoderma polysporum trichoderma means it is a fungal organism okay so it's mainly used for which purpose it is uh, mainly used for it is act as a immuno suppressive agent it is immuno suppressive agent during the organ transplantation during the organ transplantation purpose so main the cyclosporin a actually these are comes from the fungal organism it is trichoderma polysporum okay fungal organism they are cannot stem here main it is a bacteria or fungi or maybe all again any one organisms first of all you know the organism the one the microbe is belongs to the category all the or bacterium or fungi any one you have to recognize the point is very important and this cyclosporin a may be which purpose are used it is immuno suppressive agent immune system suppressive agent okay immune system suppressor during the organ transplantation time so we have to maintain the suppressive immune, immune system suppressor we are maintain sufficient immunity power for that we are using this way applying this yeah injection that is given this is the cyclosporin a okay when it is mri it is act as immune suppressor agent during the organ transplantation next second one another bioactive molecule what you call it is the statins statins this statin also it's mainly comes from the organism that is monascus monascus purpureus monascus 
for four years. <coughs> so actually, this is also actually this also it is a yeast. The monastery for four years means this is the only what yeast organism. Okay, so this is the cyclos trichoderma means it is a fungal organism. So this monastery for four years means what you call here? This is the yeast organ. It is produced by yeast. It is produced by yeast. That is that is a what you call it as monastery for four years. So what is this use? The statins are being used for what is the blood cholesterol lowering agent. Blood cholesterol. This is the blood cholesterol. Lowering exit. This after the blood cholesterol lowering for that it is can be used as a as a main statins. And also it is act as a com competitively inhibiting the enzyme responsible for synthesis of cholesterol. Okay, the one that say is main. There is a statins can be used for the blood cholesterol lowering agent purpose. Okay. So this is the way we have service in point of view. The Malayan command is this two. Okay, very important this two. Once again, see the cycles for the year. This comes from the fungal organism. This is the trichoderma pollis one. It is mainly used for it is the immune suppressive agent during the hormonal transplantation time. And also statin, second one. This is the mainly comes from the yeast. This is a the yeast name such as what do you call it? it is Monascus parvorius. So the yeast is mainly used for the main purpose, the blood cholesterol lowering agent. That's it. Next, we are going to discuss it is the. microbes in serious treatment okay next we are going to discuss microbes in in the serious treatment microbes in Microbial serious treatment. Microbial serious treatment. Serious means what? Whatever it is, uh, we are using the waste water. Okay, that waste water it can be released into out. So that means generally we call the municipal waste water. We call it is the sewage. Municipal waste water we call sewage. Actually, nowadays large amount of water, large amount of water. That means uh, what kind of water? Waste water. Mainly. This waste water is released into out. You can see, particularly metropolitan cities and towns. Metropolitan cities and towns. Okay, the large amount of waste water it is released into out. Particularly, you can see in the metropolitan cities. Metropolitan cities means Hyderabad, Bangalore, Kolkata, Delhi. Those cities. Why? Because more population. So the more population, the increase of water after this waste water it is released into out. That's it. And also, main this waste water main the major component, the major component in the waste water, human excretions. Okay, the major component in the waste water, particularly you can see human excreta, this human excretions. Next, what is meant by here the sewage? What is meant by here the sewage? Sewage means the municipal waste water we call it is sewage. 
the municipal waste water the municipal waste water in what it is a series it contains a large amount of organic matter it contain large amount of organic matter and also microbes in the waste water it contain so much of large amount of organic matter organic matter means here what pollutants and this is one organic matter means here what do you call pollutants and also microbes in the waste water it contain these are large amount of organic matter and also microbes which are pathogenic which are pathogen these are the many the disease causing organisms in the water these microbes are it is present in the waste water what will happen they are multiplied their number culture that is in the water they are multiplied their number so it can be it can be which are pathogen that means these are the the new disease the new disease born organisms the new diseases are born from these microbes that's why we call it is pathogenic that's why we call pathogenic and that's why nowadays this uh, whenever it is okay so this waste water nowadays uh, releases into the rivers and also canals so different uh, regions that means main natural water bodies this waste water is released into the natural water bodies natural water body means rivers and oceans and also next is the canals some of the other uh, water deposit areas that means uh, uh, ponds such as this area they are released into such areas what will happen this water is uh, they are dispatched into they are dispatched into such regions what will happen that water also it is a spoil so that's why before disposal this waste water it is can be treated this waste water can be treat treated so how it is treated using the sewage treatment plants we are using the sewage treatment plants that means we call it is a stps abbreviation is very important expand the stps the canals one marks sewage treatment plants before disposal of this waste water it can be treated in the particular the metropolitan city some of the regions they are carried with the some of plants so such a plants we call it as a serious treatment plants that means uh, so a very large serious treatment plants that can be arranged it can be filtered such a water again this is a reutilize to the human beings okay so what are the the serious treatment plants number of times number of times are there can be filtered so by utilizing the plants that's what you call it is a sewage treatment plants again this is a, a reutilizing whatever it is the recycling that means particularly it is a sewage treatment later finally it will be released in water again they are used to the domestically that's it okay in the the sewage treatment is done by so main some of the heterotrophic microbes the main <coughs> the treatment of waste water it can be done by some of the heterotrophic microbes naturally present in the sewage also okay next the sewage treatment how it will be done so there are what kind of steps are present we will see the next class